How's it going everyone and welcome back. In today's lecture, we're going to be creating lists. So again, this is section four, lecture four. So let's jump right into it. So creating a list. So a list of an array indices can be assigned to a list of values. So that's all a list is we can set up individual variables that's in a list and have them assigned specifically to specific values instead of declaring an array and assigning all values. So again, we can just select specific values from an array and assign it to the values that's in a list. And the example is that we follow the parentheses on the left hand side. So we, so we actually set up our indices in the array. And of course it's followed by a dollar sign because again, it's a scalar variable and we want to assign a scalar value. So again, if you look at this, it's my array name followed by the indice, which is subscript to zero, which is the first value of the element and I set up the second one as well which is the second one so these are just my variables of my array and I just want to assign my first value and my second value which is king and queen so again our first indice is going to be assigned king and our second one is going to be declared with the value as queen. That's pretty much it in a nutshell when it comes to creating lists. We can just assign specific values to specific indices and an array, and we can bypass, you know, creating a list of values to an array. So, also, you can use the QW operator to assign values to an entire array. So the QW just stands for quoted words. So instead of using the parentheses and the quotation marks and the comma to assign values, we can just use it just like this. So QW followed by either parentheses or forward slashes. You can use different punctuations, but I like to personally follow um, rules and programming so I just use the print parentheses to make it easier for myself and it reminds me of functions or methods so we don't have we can bypass using the double quotation marks on strings so they're all separated by by spaces so I can put Jason Jackson Harrison and I can even include David followed by another space, which is 44, and that will work as well, just as if we're using the normal declaration or creating a list of values for an array. So let's do some quick and fun examples. So the first thing we do again, let's declare our array and assign it some values. So we start off with the at character, followed by our array name. Again, I'll just use my underscore array to keep it basic clean and simple I'll set up some values but this time I'll use the WQ and don't worry about the forward slashes you can use this as well versus the parentheses but for right now I'll just use my forward slashes to forward slashes the beginning and the end and I'll just include spaces and let's just say Victor Jackson. And as I promised, you can include numbers. So I'll put 12, 45. So right now, my array holds four different values. Let me save my work because I get into the habit of saving my work. And let's just print out this array to see if I'm correct. So I'll copy my array variable, paste it in, save my work, click run, run script. 
and there we have it as well. So instead of using our parentheses, we use a shorter version operator called quoted words without using our quotes and commas. So we can just start using this way for right now. So let's use our list now. So let's create a list. So of course, we put our parentheses that creates and starts our list to, ass to assign indices values. I'll put my assignment operator in our parentheses again. So again, we use our array name, but to assign values, we use our scalar character, which is the dollar sign followed by the array name, followed by our indice number. Let's say I want to modify Victor with, with zero, which is our first value Victor. And let me just copy this. And let's say I want to modify the number 0, 1, 2. So the third element, which has the indice of 2. So I'll just modify Victor and the number 12. And I'll give it the values, let's say Davis. And let's say, 56. So again, we're just modifying the first element, which is Victor to Davis, and the third element, which is indice 2, from 12 to 56. So let's print these values out. So I'll do 0, and I'll do indice 2, indice subscript 2. And let's see what happens. We run, run our script. And there we have it. We now modified and changed our scalar value to Davis. It went from Victor to Davis and from 12 to 56. So again, this is really easy, guys. Simple. We're just declaring some individual array values. And we're setting them up to the selected indices in our array. So if you guys have any questions, let me know and I'll see you guys on our next lecture.